okay guys uh welcome to my village this is my village and uh there's this popular place that we used to be we used to stay when i was a young place like we used to go there it's a rock huh? it's a rock it's a very nice place anyway i just want to take you there right now so you can explore it with me I've, it's, a, it's been a very long time ever since i went there so i want to go show you today and uh I don't know whether I'm the only one seeing it as nice or whatever. And uh, my name is Jabuel, in case this is your first time seeing me. I'm from Tororo. And if you like my videos, I request please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to support your boy. You know, um, don't forget to support me please just share it so i don't know do you know this this thing this we call we call it tuara 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 in the padala in english it is called uh, size Wow. So guys, this this over here for us we call it bo bo. This is where we get peace from. This is the plant where we get peace from. And at the same time the leaves are eaten as we, in in Uganda they call it gobe. Mm. So as you see here they don't uproot them. In the village, they don't uproot. They just pluck. Like you see, they are plucked here. They plucked here. They are also pluck. They just pluck, pluck. Just single, single leaf. Then they they cook. Such that they leave the rest to 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 to, to bring out the the seeds for the next season. That is cassava garden. Actually, if you can notice, our soils, they are not good. It's sand, sand, as you can see. Mm. The soil is sand, full of sand. So, uh, the soil is full of sand. Yeah. What's here, yeah? yeah. What's that so, yeah. as you can see, Yippee. when we were young, we used to play with this thing. If you touch like this, yeah. we used to we used to play with it when we were when we were kids. We used to play that like that. So, guys, as you can see, this cow over here is tied to this tree so what happens is here we don't have we don't do free range for for cattle free range is only for chicken so the cows are normally tied like in the morning someone because for them they don't eat very early so when people are from the garden they come tie them they eat a little right now they've eaten small and now they are they have finished all the grass around here so they are now at around two or three. They are going to come, give them water, and put them in, an, in another place. And the reason, was, another reason why they tie them is because 
most of the land there they are farmlands as you can see this is rice this one that's a rice field so in case they leave them they will definitely go and destroy the rice yeah so guys you can see no much agricultural place i mean no much agricultural activity even the rice you see the rice is not even doing well just look at it so the soil is bad the soil is really getting bad but there at least somehow you can see that rice you can see that rice now it has started see that one has started at least Chola Ned. To call a binomaco, come at rat. So these are these are my childhood friends. I'm just meeting them for probably the first time after very many years. Yeah. 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 Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Never. Sorry. 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 The place is called Liwira. Here, this is Peta. Peta Makaori. Here. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, this is the well. This is the well where we used to fish water. So, you can see. It was made long time when I was very young. Very, very long, long, long time. Even if you can read that. And if you can read that, so that is the so the village is called Makawari yeah, Oriwa. The, the the name of this this well is called Oriwa. Sub country is Peta Tororo Tororo district. So guys, that is it. This place used to be very nice, and there is a, a dam. The dam dam no chua. There was a dam over here. Oh my goodness. In fact, it's not there. There now. You can just see. It's no longer there. So now they are using it as a rice field. That over there is Simsim. And that is maize. Okay, guys. Let's go to. Let's go to the place I was taking you. I'm just passing in the jungle. I don't know. If you don't get snacks here. Kulwa lo ge koma hai. So people are still planting rice. We used to grow rice here, but man, I don't know what's happening to our soil. Guys, any advice, please? So this is cassava. This is cassava. Guys, forgive me if I'm over showing you things, but 
I was really surprised, man. There's, there are certain things that look normal to us here, but it doesn't look normal to other people. This is sorghum. For me, I know it's sorghum. But to some people, they don't know. They just hear sorghum. I don't know. Is, is sorghum only in our place or what? Me, me, me I'm under, I'm, I mean, like, I'm not understanding anything. Hmm? This, this is sorghum. For us here, we grow much of cassava. And most of, we can't eat cassava alone. So we, we, we normally ground it with sorghum. And we, people here also, they, they like to socialize a lot. So when so socializing, they, when they are socializing, they normally uh, make Kongo, Kongo, Marua or local beer. So this is the place I told you I was bringing it to. So this is, this is a rock. It's just a rock. This place is called Tele Achok. This place is called Tele Achok. So this one over here, this over here, this is sorghum. This one. I don't know whether you can see it well. So this is sorghum. And then, so you just, this is where they do like this. Do like this. Then they get this. So it's dried properly, grounded, and then they, when they grind it, they now mix it with the, with cassava, yeah. They now mix it with, with cassava. So this is cassava. So normally, I think there's a lady that is already pounding it. I'm going to show you how they do it. As you can see, there's cassava there. So many cassava. So this is where people, they come including rice they come and dry it here rice cassava sorghum anything that can be dried they normally dry it here you can see she's there doing it i'm going to show you where this over here is also sorghum this one i can't touch it maybe the owner still wants to well we're gonna get it i'm time to mark your videos and i tell you now over here is mama ilonged. Hey, she actually she's my aunt actually. But I can also call her mama. So uh here like I was telling you, if you can look at this, you'll realize that it's almost here. Uh, so what normally happens is um, cassava. What normally happens is that uh, after harvesting cassava from the garden, they peel it. After peeling it, they uh, leave it to dry a little, just a little, a little bit. Then after that, the cassava is uh, kept in the house. It can eat man the lady. She said they, they keep it in the house for two days or three, depending on the weather. And then on the third day, they start to just do what she's doing. But this one, she's now doing it almost for the last, I mean like uh, several times. Okay, fine, for the, for the last time. That's why you see it looks as if it is uh, uh, normally cassava is supposed to be white, but when it's kept in the house, one it reduces starch. Cause for us the cassava that we are having here is normally uh, genetically improved cassava, because as you can see our soils they are not good, and we have to, to keep surviving. So they get cassava which is genetically modified. Cassava here is supposed to take one year or more. But much you can show do the how shall? Eh, the how shall can do such a Only after six months, the, the, you can start uprooting and eating. So that cassava is very very sour. If you eat it direct when it is raw, you can die. Kadi ege jo chamuto. Even goats or even humans they eat it, you can die. What you call a rio? Yeah, my my make the egg is the most nice. Eh, she said there are, there are many types these days. There's one which even if it is sour, if when a goat eats, they can't die. And then there's one that uh, can kill. Mm -hmm.
Uh, yeah, that in, people have over that, uh, people are over digging the place. So now the the cows are actually also feeding on the on the cassava fillings. So what I was trying to say is that after the third day, they bring it outside. Then they they do what she's doing like this to make it smaller to dry faster. Then when it is dry like this, uh, they pound it using a pounding. Uh, we call it uh, pan. Mm, using a, 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 a pounding stick or whatever or they can take it to the grinding mill then they mix it with sorghum as I showed you there mm. but not that the other one they mix it and then pound it together and that's how we get kalo or oh, here we call it konodumbi konodumbi means um, cassava 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 food or something like that cassava ugali anything like that yeah so after you saw, I was here. Maaga kara ka ya raje. Ah yeah. So uh, there she is done pounding. So what she's doing now is simply to spread it so that it can dry very well. So this one here is not yet. They are going to to pound it well. Now normally the one which is done like this, they are going to use a. A, a, a local pounding stick to 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 make it not a grinding mill but these types the one when went is big big like that they use they normally use a grind a grinding mill so let me take you a for you so let me no i do you think hey so so also this this place actually this you can see I'm sweating right this place just that today there are some functions around here that's even the one of the reasons why we came back people are in the function but he season the water is so that but this is where we used to fish we used to do I don't know what's happening anyway You can see the water is very dirty. You to admit to me, I'm going to go to the house. You're going to go Dame, what you need? What you want? You see, Korachi, bend the moko. You show him how to cut a shell. You have to check check. Eh, I like. I need a lot of gang. I I need a lot of chair to go check. Cause I've been mad mad. Better than Marco. So. Over there, this 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 young boy is fishing. He's using a hook. You can see that small hook. He's using that hook to fish. Let me see whether he will. Let me try to see if he will catch fish. It's a remark. Okay. You don't. Ah, poki chiem. Oma weyri poki chiem. Chiem. Mm mm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> So guys, uh, well, what you <laughs> so guys, you can see he is here washing his clothes. Yeah, he's washing his clothes. 
I think he's that. Is your is your work? Because I'm not sure. Hey, he's he's done washing those ones. That the other one. So now is is the little fish that he has got. They are very small, by the way. These are the small, small little fish that he has got. But anyway, it can uh, provide protein for today. Fish. I just don't know what's happening to everything. Things are really changing. I go. I mean, I I go. It's your mark, eh? Fordy. You do mark dog, you know. I'm going to my Hello. I want to I'm going to the I'm going to meet you. to Gonna get she must have. We shall move to my. No, you have one more year, you have one more year. Well, you go here, Matek, and no, Umoko, 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 it's a little So this is the young boy. This is the young boy that has caught that fish. So he's, he's here fishing again. You see? It's too hot. Yeah. It's too hot and to make it worse is that I'm wearing a black shirt. Kuleba mawa chuba. Kuleba mawa chuba. 
Tu colles belle, tu me regardes belle, pas quand tu me fais une belle. Belle, il y a une belle, tu veux que ma fille est belle qui est rigue. These are onions. This guy has just planted onion here. Hmm? This is this one is a rice bed. Rice bed. Yeah. Manji? I see ye. Well, we win. Eh, come over to our bed. Well, we get this. Eh, come over to our bed. Yeah, Jeber. Eh, well, we get this. Hmm. So guys, here this is a, a rice bed. Mama and Papa here, they are, they are, they are, they are removing it, they wash it and I think they are planting, yeah, they are, huh? they are planting it here. Yeah. So this is some of them. Wangi? So here they are, they are planting. Hello, we can it. I watch it. I watch it. I never win the winter. See, I mean, we fool a room. Well, <laughs> 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 guys, uh, this guy is over here, they are um, planting rice. But then uh, we used to have very good soil and good water, but I don't know what's happening to our place. So here they are planting, but trust me, hope is very, very small. The soil are no longer good. I don't know, we have been, I've been showing you there. You can see the rice is not doing very well. So I just don't know what's happening. So, you can see.